Hello everyone. Welcome to AE Graphics. Let's preview what we are going to create today. Open After Effects. Create a new comp. Rename it to Blood Drip Animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frames per second, 6 seconds long. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now let's import our project files. Right click on Project Window, Import in Files. Select the file and open. You can download the file from the link in description. Now let's create our text. Create a new comp. And rename it to text. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now go to Toolbar. Select the Horizontal Type Text tool. I am using Headliner number 45 font. Font color is red. Font size 400. Make sure all caps icon is selected. Let's type our text. Align it to the center. And the anchor points too. Now it's time to animate our text. Make sure you are in the first frame. Go to effects and presets. And search for slow fade on. Drag and drop it to the text layer. Now select the text layer. Press U and keyboard to open the keyframes. Here we can find that two keyframes are created by default. I am leaving the default settings as it is. Now go to 4 seconds. Create a keyframe on offset. With the value of 100. Then move to 6 seconds. And change its value to minus 100. Now our text animates with a fade effect. Then select all the keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. Now let's add more depth to our text. Create a new comp. Rename it to text plus crack. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Go to project window. Select the text comp. Drag and drop it to the text plus crack comp. Again go to Project Window. Select the Crack Texture JPG. Drag and drop it above the Text Comp. Select the Text Comp. And change its Track Mat to Alpha Inverted Mat. If you don't find this, right click here. Columns. And choose Modes. Now select the Crack Texture. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Drop Shadow. Drag and drop it to the Crack Texture layer. I am leaving the default settings as it is. Now let's head to the main animation. Go to Project Window. Create a new comp. Rename it to Text Plus Drip. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Then go to Project Window. Select the Text Plus Crack Comp. Drag and drop at the Text Plus Drip Comp. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Right click. New. And Adjustment Layer. Rename it to Drip 1. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for CC Smear. Drag and drop it to the drip one layer. In this case, we can find two points here. The center point is the from. And the another point is to. We are going to animate by using the to point. Select the drip one layer. And make sure the CC smear effects is selected. You can find these points only if the CC smear is selected. To animate our text without any confusion. 
let's change the radius value to 0. Then, to make sure that points don't affect the text shape, let's add rulers to our comp. In the toolbar section, go to View and select Show Rulers or press Ctrl plus R in keyboard. Now select the horizontal ruler and place it below the text. Then select the vertical ruler and place it at the center of the word. By doing this we can animate without disturbing the text shape. Now drag the points to the corner of our text. The from point must be above the to point. Now go to one frame 20 seconds. Create a keyframe on both the points. And change the reach value to zero. And create a keyframe on it. Then go to 30 frames forward. Drag the two point outside the comp. Then drag the from point and place it below the text. Change the reach value to 500. Now change the radius value to 30. Select the drip one layer. And press U in keyboard to open the keyframes. Select all the keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. Now our blood is dripping. Likewise you have to do for the remaining letters. I am adding it for three words. You are free to use your own ideas. Let me show you how to add to other texts. Select the drip one layer. Go to edit. And duplicate. Select the drip two layer. And press U in keyboard to open the keyframes. And also open the drip one keyframes. By selecting drip one layer and press U in keyboard. Now select the drip two keyframes. And drag it few frames forward. By doing this the drip will animate one by one. Now select the drip to layer. Make sure you are in the first keyframes. Now move the vertical ruler to other word. Select the CC smear to make the points visible. Drag both the points and place it to the another word. Now move to the other keyframes we created earlier. Here we can find the points are with first letter. Hold shift in keyboard. Move the from point to the center of the rulers. Then move the to point to the vertical ruler. Now our drip is ready. Likewise you can add drips according to your ideas. I am adding one more drip. I am fast forwarding my work. If you have any doubts in this tutorial. Feel free to email or let me know in the comment box. Here I have three drips. Let's move to the final process. Now go to the Blood Drip Animation Comp. Go to Project Window. Select the Text Plus Drip Comp. And place it to the Blood Drip Animation Comp. Let's create a background. Select the Text Plus Drip Layer. Go to Edit. And Duplicate. Select the Bottom Comp. Right click. And rename it to Background. Press S in keyboard to open its scale properties. I am changing the scale value to 240%. You are free to use your own values. Hold Shift and press T in keyboard to open its opacity. I am changing the opacity to 15%. Now background is ready. Let's add zoom into it. Create a null object. Right click. New. And select null object. Select the null one. Right click and rename it to zoom in. Make sure you are in the first frame of the comp. Align it to the center. And the anchor points too. By holding shift in keyboard. Select the text plus drip and background comps. And parent those to the zoom in layer. If you don't find this option. Right click here. Columns and choose Parent. Now select the zoom in layer. Press S in keyboard to open its scale properties. 
set a key frame with the value of 100%. Then move to the last frame and change its value to 110%. Select both the key frames. Right click. Key frame assistant. And easy ease. That's all, our blood drip animation is ready. Let's RAM preview. Hope you like this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel for more videos. Let's learn together. Meet you in the next video. Good day.